Hello Internet World, welcome to my review of the Andonstar AD409 Pro ES digital microscope with endoscope. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm purely sharing with you my opinion of this product so that you can make an informed buying decision. Now this is a very high quality digital microscope. It's made of industrial grade material. It includes the microscope and an endoscope attachment, and it gives you really precision magnification, display, photos, and recording up to 2160p video so that you can get a close look at things like circuit boards, maybe you do watch repairs, something that requires a really zoomed in, magnified, great amount of detail. Now, you'll see here also, it's got a 10.1 inch IPS display. You can also output via HDMI to an even larger external display. And there's also a PC output option as well, and Wi-Fi. So you can actually output your uh, image via Wi-Fi, which is really very, very good indeed. This is a top quality piece of kit. Now, before I show you the uh, microscope up a little bit closer, let me show you what you get inside the box. So there is some paperwork. Now, this obviously does come uh, sort of not set up like this. So there is probably about a 10 minute uh, sort of installation or setup involved, but you do get a really good user manual. You also got some information here about extra accessories included with the endoscope version. So you can buy this as the AD409 Pro or the Pro ES, which includes the endoscope option. Also inside the box, we do get a remote control. This is really good because it allows you to zoom in and out of the image, start and stop recording, for example. I'll give you a little demonstration of that now. So you can see this circuit board here, we can actually zoom in using the remote control and you can see it's zooming in on the screen. We can also obviously stop and start recording and we can take photos with the remote. And we can also increase the brightness. So if you look on the screen now, I can actually uh, decrease and increase the brightness of the image. As you can see here, we're doing some sort of EV exposure compensation until we get a nice image on the screen. So remote control, I think that's an essential part of the toolkit here. You can control the zooming in and out and the recording from the buttons on the front here. You can also go into the menu system. I'll, again, I'll show you that very shortly. So let's take a look at the other bits and pieces we get. So we do get this accessory arm, which you can attach to the unit. We also get over here, this is the endoscope attachment. So this attaches in, you've got lights on the end, and then you can of course really pinpoint with this tiny little handheld endoscope, you can pinpoint various components and have a real close look at things. We also get an HDMI cable. This is full size HDMI to mini HDMI, and this allows you to connect the microscope to an external display. We also get a USB adapter plug. Now this will vary depending on which country you're in. I'm in the UK, so this is a three pin UK USB adapter, but you should get a country specific one inside your box. And then you also get a USB cable, it's right angle on one end and normal on the other end, and that allows you to power the whole unit. I'm using my own uh, USB cable at the moment. Do you get some extra accessories for the endoscope? I haven't used these, but you get various different tips. You get like a mirror tip and just some extra sort of tip accessories for the endoscope part of the uh, microscope. And then you also get this hardwired remote. So this remote here allows you to power on and off and also to control the lights that are on the arms. So you can see the lights underneath as I increase the brightness you'll get a uh, better display on the uh, whatever you're magnifying. Let me just position that a little bit better. So you can see as I'm putting the brightness down, you get a darker picture and we can pop the brightness all the way up 
for an even better picture. And when you're magnifying at this level, you really do need a lot of light on the subject matter that you're taking a look at. These are obviously on flexible arms, so you can place these in closer or further away. You can get them in the perfect position. And there are two of these. And then obviously you've got the actual lens underneath here. And you've got a barrel here. It's all metal construction. And you use this to focus in and out. So you might just pick that up on your screen that we're going out of focus. And then we can focus back in. And then you can, of course, if I just turn this round like so, so you get to see it side on, you can obviously loosen these connections up and you can move the lens, so this barrel here, you can move it nearer or further away from whatever you're taking a look at. So you can get some really good optical magnification just by going in a little bit, bit nearer. And this is all really well constructed. This is all metal construction. It feels very, very solid and really well made. Now on the top back edge of the monitor, we've got the USB connection. We've also got uh, the HDMI just on the top edge here on the back of the monitor. And then we've also got the memory card slot. These are all located along this top back edge. Uh, the memory card slot is micro SD card. It supports up to a class 10 64 gigabyte card. And that's where you can actually store your video and photos that you've taken. And talking about video and photos, let's show you on your screen now some of the images that I've zoomed in on and magnified and captured on the Andon Star microscope. I think that you'll agree they are absolutely fantastic. The AD409 Pro really does capture a great amount of detail and I love the fact that you can record direct onto memory card and then transfer that footage uh, onto your PC or view it back on another device. I think that's really very, very useful indeed. Now before I forget, I should also mention you do get some spares. So you get some spare uh, metal uh, adjustment knobs so if you do lose any out the back of the unit, you can replace them. You also get this little bag of tools. It's got an Allen key and some clips. Now the clips, I would imagine you use on the bottom of the bed area here, and it allows you to hold things in place. So you might possibly uh, slip a small circuit board, or I've got a memory uh, card here at the moment, or a, a, a memory module. You might possibly slip those underneath those clips just to hold them really steady in place. Now I also promised you a look at the menu system so let's take a look at that now. So what you're seeing at the moment is obviously a display of the memory module that I've got underneath the microscope and I'll just give you a quick demo of the focus so we can obviously focus in to get this really nice and crisp and then we can use the remote that I showed you earlier. So we can use this to uh, zoom in and out. So we can zoom in and out, stop and start recording. We can also, of course, go into the menu system. And when we go into the menu system, we can adjust things like resolution, exposure, date stamp, sharpness, freeze, contrast, and color. So there's plenty that you can actually change using the menu system. We can also go across to do our settings for Wi-Fi, grid line, date and time, language, frequency, format the memory card, and go back to default settings. There's also a version number, so I assume uh, you could possibly update the firmware on this uh, at a later date. And then pressing the menu button takes you back out of the menu. So really nice that we can set this up to exactly how we want it. The optics are very, very good. I'm really impressed with the quality that this actually captures. So what are my final thoughts on the Andon Star AD409 Pro? Well, whilst I can't comment on the endoscope feature, I can absolutely recommend this digital microscope. The quality of the product, the build construction, the video and photo capture, the optics, everything is top, top notch. It's been very well thought out. I'm really impressed with the amount of detail this can pick up. And as such, I can thoroughly recommend it. 
you want to pick up one of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description. I want to thank you all for watching. Please do consider subscribing and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.